just a, a quick little video I managed to put together. Uh, th this footage was actually filmed back in January and uh, as you know I've had problems before with uh, data storage and I actually thought I'd lost all this. Um, but this was uh, footage uh, when we upgraded all the wiring on the batteries. Now I've uh, said this before in other videos, this is not a tutorial, it's not a guide, it's not an instructional video, this is just how i done it. So this is the second in the series of not how to, but how I do. What are we doing today Debbie? We're upgrading the wiring on the batteries from 35mm to 95mm and we're reconnecting the batteries in a different way so they're better balanced and also um, connecting it to the new solar panels that are on the roof. Yeah so I've just made up these new 95mm link cables and uh, easy enough to do um, when you've got the right tools and I'll show you how to do them. Right so first thing we're going to do is cut the cable to the right length with these new ratchet cutters that I've bought. And that makes cutting these a absolute breeze and you get a nice nice cut on the end. And it's just a matter of stripping enough insulation off the end uh, to get your crimp on. A sharp Stanley knife, just minding your fingers. Now you will by default just lose a couple of strands as you cut that, um, but that's no big worry. And then it's just a matter of getting the crimp that you should have had ready. Wait one minute. Getting the crimp that you've got ready, sliding that on the end, and then with help from my assistant, a new hydraulic crimp tool. I'll give you links to these where you can get these from. You get different size dies uh, for different size cable. Just crimp that up. Release the hydraulic pressure. And there you have it all crimped on nice and tight. And then all we've got to do is put some heat uh, sleeve and heat shrink sleeving on there uh, just to insulate it. Now all we've got to do is put the heat shrink sleeving on. Now I've cut these to length, popped them on and now we're just going to warm it up with a blowtorch. and that's that all sleeved up nicely. Yeah, so that's all the heavy duty 12 volt stuff wired. All new 95 mil cables on the batteries and they're all linked up in the way advised on Grain Mills uh, 12 volt uh, boating group on Facebook. Uh, new 95 mil coming off the alternator. With hindsight, the only thing I would have done differently, excuse the fingers, um, we've got the shunt for the Victron battery monitor and my negative and positive buzz bars. Now when I come to tighten things up on there, I realise there's a potential of uh, shorten your ring spanner 
across them so a little bit of care will have to be taken when I do any further modifications there but that's the, that's the only thing I'd have changed if I'd have just laid it out a little bit better but we was uh, limited for room where we could fit all the bits and pieces. Yeah, so all the um, all the technical information um, that I got on this, I got it all from a fantastic chap uh, called Graham Mills. Now Graham runs the 12 volts boating group on Facebook. So any of you guys out there got any questions or queries whatsoever, join that group. It is a must, and uh, Graham or one of the other members will be able to answer any of the questions you've got. And again, after watching this video, if there's any technical questions, join the group, ask Graham. <laughs> don't, don't ask me. It's, it's no good asking me because I got all the info that I needed um, off of that group. By all means, um, ask me any questions uh, that relate to my particular installation and I'll go through that with you but like I say the the technical stuff um, ask the experts yeah so I did check with Graham um, told him that I was going to be doing this little video said that I want to use some um, bits and pieces from his site he said as long as I wasn't trying to take credit for anything which if anybody knows me no I wouldn't be doing that um he was okay with it so thanks graham yeah so if you look at these next two images this first one here is a, a photograph of um, how i've actually wired um, my battery bank so that is my actual battery bank and this next image here is taken from the 12 volt boating group um, website and this was the diagram that i used and uh, i've message Graham told him that I'm going to put this little um, video out and obviously not trying to take any credit away um, from Graham Mills whatsoever so yeah so if you enjoyed this video uh, give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed hit the um, subscribe icon hit the little bell icon next to that you'll get notified and just just give us a comment um, if you like these type of videos then I might uh, do a series of not how to but how I do. Right, so until next time